Welcome back to another video, everyone. So a few days ago, OpenAI introduced Sora, which is a video generating AI. So this means that the trinity of AI has finally been complete. A year, maybe two years ago, we started getting crappy photo generative AI. And I say crappy because it was pretty cool, but if you remember, everyone was using it to generate all this weird stuff, but it, it vaguely resembled what you would type in right like it, it kind of resembled it but it was very vague and everyone was using it having a great time having a laugh then fast forward one or two years and we have the most photorealistic ai generating programs to ever do you would ever imagine and yeah there are like things that you can look out for in images like you can definitely tell when like an ai has made an image of a human for example because it'll have fucking six fingers or some bullshit. So there's definitely things you can look out for, but still, like, if you're not paying attention, you could easily look at something and think it's a real picture. Then we got, like, voice AI, where people could replicate celebrities' voices. And this was a big one. If you've been on TikTok or even YouTube, you've probably heard an AI song. People making songs out of existing artists' voices. So, like, what if Kanye West sung this other song by this other person, and it sounds just like him? And I'm not even gonna lie, some of them are... Some of them sound pretty good. Like, I would never listen to what I would never actually put my AirPods in and start seriously listening to an AI Kanye West song. Just knowing that that is AI, I can't take it seriously, even if it sounds good. I've seen AI songs of dead artists as well. And then just a few days ago, they announced, OpenAI announced Sora, where you can generate just straight up movie looking footage. I mean, like, look at this. This is the most like 16K looking video, and it's not even real. Like an AI generated this, and I don't know how to feel about it. That's why I'm making this video. There's loads of examples that they've posted. We're gonna take a look at them, but for me, it's just I can't think of many positive reasons why this exists. Like, what are we gonna do with this? You know, like Golden Retriever Puppies, this AI video. This is the one that went viral on Twitter recently. What are we gonna What are we gonna do with this? I'd rather just humans go and capture some real footage of Golden Retrievers if they're gonna use it. I'd just like to look at something like that and not question whether or not it's real or just been generated by AI. And now with this, while again, just like the photo AI, there are flaws that you can look out for. There are very weird occurrences that happen in some of these clips. But regardless, it, it's insane that it even looks like this in the first place. You can easily look at something like this and be totally oblivious that it's fake. Again, what is the goal? Are we gen what are we generating these videos for? Is it supposed to be used in videos and eventually movies? Are we eventually gonna get to a point where you can just AI generate an entire movie? What is what is the point though? Would you not prefer real videos and movies made by real people? Let's take a look at some examples, shall we? We've got this one here. AI and again there's probably flaws that you could point out but again it all looks like stock footage that's that's what I'll say if you look at every single one of these things it looks just like stock footage for the most part this is like an animated movie as well that's why I'm saying like bro we're definitely gonna be able to make animated movies out of this at some point pirate ships in a cup of coffee man reading a book this is the most stock footage looking one of them all I think this is not actually maybe this is the contender for stock footage Look at this, this is AI generated. We had the Will Smith eating spaghetti video not long ago, if you know what I'm talking about. And now we have this. So now when you look at a video, you're gonna have to go an extra step and actually ask yourself, is this AI generated? Not to say that like every time you've seen a video prior to yesterday, you would look at it and assume, oh wow, this is real. No, because guess what? Editing exists. People edit videos, people hoax videos with editing, like ghost videos. <laughs> Doesn't mean just because it's on the internet and it's a video and AI wasn't a thing at the time means it's real. But I think I'd rather look at that and be like, ah, oh, that's such a fake video, but at least someone edited it. Like at least someone put in the effort to stage a ghost paranormal video. At least they put in the effort for it, even though they failed fucking miserably because nobody believes it. At least I can give them the credit. But that's one thing. Now you have to ask yourself whether or not it's real on basic normal videos of a dog you know what i mean or of someone walking stock footage like that's the thing here we're talking about regular clips and videos just regular stock footage looking video but at the end of the day it's not going to go away you know it's, at the end of the day it's just the technology that is going to advance and that's how it is so i think there should be restrictions around it i don't even know how you'd be able to do it but like just make it clear if something is an ai video or not again i don't know how you would do that not every platform is going to include a button that allows people to do that not everyone is going to abide by it anyway or maybe the generating 
programs themselves have to include something on the video. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know down below what you think about this. I'm just trying to think of reasons why this could even be used in a positive way. So let me know down below what, what are some good uses of this. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you all in my next video.